The Lucas Oil Motorsports Hour is brought to you by Geico Power Sports. That is the leader here at the Sunoco Race Fields North South 100, presented by RL Carriers. The real deal, Don O'Neill, car number 71, out here getting it done, baby. He is an aggressive driver. He is a very passionate driver. And when he gets out front like this, I guarantee he's going to be difficult to beat. Battle for sixth place between Joe Arms and Skip Arp. Joe Arms just steadily, unfortunately for him, going backwards. Yeah, Arms led the first 23. O'Neill took over on lap number 24, continues to lead. Skip Arp, you know, he'd been running up front. He kind of fell back, now working his way back up to the front. He's trying that high line there in that number 31 car. Difficult to use all the ponies these guys have underneath the hood. On board with Earl Pearson Jr. again running in that third spot courtesy of his primary sponsor, Lucas Oil Products. Battle for second place, Scott Bloomquist. Earl Pearson Jr. going at it. Jimmy Mars also working his way up in there. And by the way, the uh, one of only two cars out there that Jimmy Mars is in, the chassis is actually built by Mars and Burkhofer, the MB Customs chassis, as we watch these other two guys go and at it here. Of course, Bloomquist, also a designer of his own chassis. And Mars right there pouncing off that inside firm as we call it loses a little ground to these two Bloomquist in the zero Earl Pearson Jr. in the 44 there's Jimmy Mars trying to run him down again this is a two car battle right now for that second spot with Bloomquist in it EPJ wants it but don't count out Jimmy Mars he is slowly reeling these guys in Earl Pearson Jr. still flying the Masters built chassis as well Always seems to do a great job for him. Again, just one of those cars that's just very consistent no matter what the track dishes out. Current leader, Don O'Neill. And Don O'Neill, also in a Masters built right now, is out there getting it done, has been out there for a long time. And I haven't seen anybody really roll up on him just yet. If they're going to do it, they better be getting after it because it is lap 83. Yeah, I don't think, if we don't catch a caution, I don't think anyone is going to catch Don O'Neill. I mean, he is so smooth. He works his way around. Low line, middle, high line, wherever he has to go. He's going to be tough to catch. We go back to that battle for 11th spot. Again, there is Steve Shaver and the 75 of Bart Hartman. Yeah, both of these guys hoping they get a little better run at it than they've had here tonight. Yeah, the Bartman using that low line. Three career Lucas Oil late model dirt series wins. You mentioned finished second to Bill Pearson Jr. in the points one night ago. Bart Hartman goes down low. In, but tries to keep it off the side of Shaver. Hey, okay, goes low, can't get it to work, goes high. Will that work? As Don O'Neill continues to cruise. Nice out front. He's making it look easy, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, he just drives it in there. It looks like he's not sawing on the wheel. He's keeping the car nice and straight. And that's what you have to do when the track lays rubber and gets fast like this. You got to keep that car nice and straight. Again, battle for that six spot. Joe Arms in the 77 and Skip Arp in that 31. Skip Arp just, I mean, he's been right there. It has to be frustrating for these guys. You, you see them, you catch them, they drive away from you, but you can never get around them. The distance stays almost exactly the same, lap after lap. You try high, you try low. There's just nothing else there. Yeah, Hall of Famer Ray Cook right in front of those guys in that 53 got inducted back in 2006. Hanging on, it's a great battle here for position. But of course, the man out front is O'Neill, and the question is, can any of the other guys catch up with him and close that gap? It seems as though they've been picking away at it. Yeah, we're coming in on 10 laps to go, and I mean, he's working lap traffic. He's got Dale McDowell right in front of him. That is your leader, Don O'Neill. But like I said, I mean, look at him. That thing is like on a rail. It's like he's running pavement. The right rear does not want to step out. It's a lightning fast race car. As we go back to that battle for a third, they're still racing side by side. Hey, we got $50,000 up for grabs at about 10 laps to go. Your E3 Spark Plugs top five has Don O'Neill leading everybody. 90 of 100 laps completed. Yeah, 10 more left. It's the shootout. You don't want to miss it. This telecast has been brought to you by RNL Carriers. One call, one carrier.
KNN, the world's best air filter. And by Team Lucas, taking your company's marketing to the finish line.